and this video is gonna be my July and August TBR. So it is already mid-July, so I'm doing a TBR for July and August just in case I don't get the chance to sit down and film a TBR for August in a timely manner. I'm just gonna do it all now because it's basically I had this like planned out on what I want to read before the end of August. So I could try to catch up on some of the stuff that I have been way behind on. First and foremost, I want to finish And Not Dark in my Kirsten White. And I'm almost finished, so don't I only have like 67 pages left. I think that's what I calculated. I'm gonna finish that today, so no trip about it. I'm off tomorrow, so if in case I don't finish it today, I'll finish it tomorrow. It's gonna be done because I need to bring it back to the library because it's late now. And so I have a feast standing up. The second book that I want to meet, I want to read in July is Glass by Ellen Hopkins, which is also a library book that I haven't even started on yet. So what my plan is, what I really want to go by is I want to finish and I darken today, and I can read, I can start Glass tonight because I only have some seven pages with that. I can be done with that in less than an hour. But it's the fact that I want to start reading this tonight and finish this tomorrow. So by the time tomorrow evening when I go to the library, I can bring both the, both of these back and pay my fines. And I'm not going to check out any more books from the library until at least September. Because I have other books that I really, 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 really want to freaking get through before the end of and also this is the second book in a poetry series that Ellen Hopkins has done. The first book that I read was Crank and um, I did a review for that. I'm going to link that in the eye and in the description box so you guys can go and check that out. But I really really loved Crank so freaking much. I hope I really loved this. Like I really felt like emotionally connected to Crank at times where I just I felt like it was me that things was happening to. So I really love her writing. She does a, a, a phenomenal job. And she really makes you, you know, appreciate poetry when you, you know, read like this. The third book that I want to read in July is King's Cage by Victoria Avr. Now, y'all never went back to pick this book up. I continually, I, after, like, y'all, I just, like, kept continually picking up other books over this book. So, I'm probably going to start this book over and then start over from page one just in case, just to refresh myself. Because it has been a while since I picked this book up. I think I picked this book up in May. I think I picked, started to pick this up in May and didn't even finish it. So I definitely want to read this in July as well. And then all the rest of my books are books that I have from NetGalley that are all coming out in August. And this aren't even all of them that are coming out in August. But, you know, I'm not going to overdo it. But these are the main books. These are coming out in the beginning of August. And I just need to read them and get them out of the way. Okay. So the very first book that I want to read in at least by August 1st so that you know have a review up by the time it comes out is a justified bitch by HG McKinnis and this book comes out August 8th and guys I know I said from that game you're like well why the hell are you holding a physical copy in your hand well I did get this from that galley first like I got this from that galley months ago and then um the author or the publishing company because you know i don't know if the author like personally sent out emails but you know i got an email you know saying that you know i see you received you know net got a copy but you haven't done a review yet would you like a, a a physical copy and i was like well i haven't done my review for it yet i haven't read, read it yet either because i know it doesn't come out until august and i think i get this email in like may or april but I did say, you know, I'm waiting until I get closer to read and review it. And I was like, hell yeah, I want a fucking physical copy. And guys, not even a week later, this was in my mailbox. Now, I did not know I was going to get it that fast. I was like, yes. So, this is an advanced reader copy. This is an advanced copy. So, uh, I'm probably going to read the physical copy instead of the, the net gadget version. But we'll see. I probably will do both just in case I leave the house and don't want to carry the, the actual book with me. But, you know, we'll see. But I definitely want to read this because it's coming out August 8th. The next book that I want to read that I also have a physical copy for as well as a Nat Galley copy is Bad Girl Gone by Temple Matthews. And this is a book that I got from Nat Galley's. But I also freaking won this, a physical advanced reader copy through Goodreads. And I never win giveaways. So I was like shocked that I won this giveaway. Like I, I, I couldn't believe it. So I have a physical form of this book as well. And guys, this is my first two like art books physically that I've had so they're gonna be sitting on my shelf because these are like prizes to me like 
you always see book two was with him and I never get him like it's always like I got negative but no physical ones so I'm fucked up that I got these physical ones this also comes out August 8th so I definitely want to finish this before it comes out so I can do my review on it so those are my top two like like MVP that I need to read before August 8th comes around so you not know, have an up-to-date review out for it because I also have physical copies for them as well as the e-copies so those are just more important to me on my list of NetGalley books. Now the next book that I would like to read in August or July you know whichever it may fall is Solo by Alexander Kwame and this comes out August 1st so this comes out before Bad Girl Gone and before Justified Bitch but it's just the fact that I have physical copies first but solo comes out august 1st and it's also a book that i got from net galley because did i know so actually what it's about i can't remember off the top of my head but i know it's something i was interested in reading and the cover is very pretty it's very beautiful that's probably what drew me in the most is the cover the next book that i would like to read is the list by patricia ford and this comes out august 8th as well and i have seen people talk about this book on on good to good to <laughs> on YouTube but I have no idea like, I know what it's about but I can't remember what it's about like I would have to read this and not just to refresh my memory and I cannot remember right now because I'm trying to run through this because I do not want to be sitting out this window when lightning starts flying but um yeah it's that's also a very pretty cover that's probably that's what drew me into it too at first I kept seeing the cover so it's like freaking right that looks very beautiful the next book that I would like to read is Hollywood Homicide by Keely Garnett I think that's how you say your name Keely or Kelly because her name is spelled K-E-L-L-Y-E -L -L -E, but I don't know if you pronounce that still Kelly or Keely but we're just gonna you know I think I'm gonna settle on Kelly because I don't know Keely just sounds like wrong but anyway um, that book also comes out August 8th. I think that is a new adult book, if I'm not uh, mistaken. I think it's a mystery. Yeah, I think it's a new adult mystery, if I'm not mistaken. Or, you know, an adult mystery. But it's definitely not YA, it's adult. But yeah, that cover is very pretty too. Most of the books that I'm talking about have very pretty covers. And this last book that I want to read is not an August release. It actually already came out in June. So that's me backtracking, trying to get rid of some of my, you know, trying to read and review some of the old books that I had requested and never did. And and that is Secret of Southern Girls by Haley Harrigan. I think I pronounced her name correctly, but that came out June 1st. So it's already came out, it's already released, but what really drew me was the title. Because, you know, I was like, oh yeah, Southern Girls, I'm a Southern girl, like I'm as solid as it gets in the U.S., you know. Well, almost, you know, I guess if you was like actually on the peninsula of Florida, that's the furthest south you get. But, you know, Louisiana, you know what I mean. Y'all get my drip. Y'all get my drip. But, um, I'm not sure what the genre that is. I don't know what that book is about either. <laughs> now about the top of my head. I'm just, you know, I, I couldn't, you know, go read it and come back and let you guys know. But I just, I, I, I really don't feel like it. I'm, like, really trying to rush through this because somebody's getting cranky in her jumper. See what I mean? Somebody was getting cranky. She was very curious as to what I was over here doing. That she wasn't over here. So she had to make her presence known. So yeah. But yeah, those are all the books that I wanted to read. That's a total of eight books that I want to read between July and August. Which is not bad. That's just as if I read my normal four books a month. You know, um, excluding the excluding and I darkened. So that's something I already started. And excluding glass, since that's something that I really read in 24 hours. So that's just like reading my normal four books a month okay guys so these are all the books that i have physically um with me that i'm going to read in between the months of july and august so yeah thank you guys for watching my videos don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye is it too late now to say sorry because i'm